What's up, Black Desert Mobile fans? Our favorite day of the week is back, Patch Day. And this week, Black Desert Mobile, I think they forgot that April Fool's was a couple months ago because they were like, yo, here's red accessories. Yo, you can't get them anyway but behind a world boss or, or an enraged guild boss rush. Um, and world bosses, everybody knows, doesn't drop dick ever. And the guild boss rush, uh, it's like, what, you get one or two, maybe three done per week, tops. Um, and any drop solid rewards, don't get me wrong, but uh, the only people that are going to be getting the red accessories are brand new accounts that start the game today and are under 2,000 CP, and they go to that world boss at noon today. They're going to be the ones that get the red accessories. I'm just kidding. It's a great update. We're going to dive into it. We're going to cover all the content. Um, there is a lot of goodies. Enraged world boss. Uh, Black Spirit Mode fix or updates, which is really nice for convenience. Uh, some boss knowledge updates. I'm going to cover all of it more. You guys know the deal. I'm just teasing a little bit, but not really. Uh, before we get into the material, make sure you guys check out the description down below for additional badass Black Desert Mobile content. You won't be disappointed. Don't forget that on server Medea, North America region, Double click is recruiting 7,000 CP or above. We are a guild and or a guild, a node and siege work guild. So if you're interested, hit you can hit me up. You can join the Discord down below, or you can apply to the guild leader. And with that being said, let's dive right in. All right, let's take a look at the patch notes. Up first, we got the new world boss enraged Geoth. You do have to be level 35 or above. He does only appear on Saturdays from 20 to 2200 in the Forest of Plunder. You can participate in raids for other world bosses as well as in Rage Geoth at the same time. So that is nice. Uh, you know, an another world boss, which means more a chance for higher drops and better drops. They also added Abyssal Accessories. Red Accessories are here. They've been added. The Abyssal Accessories have a chance of being dropped as a reward in the following features. World Boss, Elite Guild, Boss Rush. That is it. It's the only way to get the red accessories. So they gave them to us, but they didn't really give them to us. They updated the Ancient Ruins difficulty. They added level 10. Uh, it's 58 or 5900 CP. Abyssal Lightstones now have been a chance of being dropped as a reward in the Ancient Ruins difficulty level 10. The drop rate for Ascension Skillbook Chest at the difficulty level 9 has been changed so that there is a higher chance of, of them being dropped as a reward. Black Spirit Mode Update. It's a nice uh, feature update. You can now automatically explore the ancient runes and complete boss rushes through Black Spirit mode. You can set your Black Spirit to auto explore the ancient runes in Black Spirit mode. You can access only access the difficulties that you have previously cleared. In the event that you do not have enough ancient tablets while the Black Spirit mode is active, you will receive a push message alert uh, that your Black Spirit mode is ended. Auto exploring the ancient runes of Black Spirit mode will require the same number of ancient tablets and offer the same rewards as normal entry into the runes. However, you cannot adjust the reward rate. The amount of ancient tablets consumed will depend on the selected difficulty level. You will not be able to select a difficulty level that requires a higher CP than your current CP. When setting up auto explorer in Black Spirit mode, the number of ancient tablets needed for one entry into the ancient runes will be displayed. And the number of ancient tablets listed below is the minimum number of tablets required for each level. Level 1 is 360, 2, 480, 3 is 600. So this is how many tablets you need in order for it to be the Black Spirit mode uh, and to be able to run ancient ruins. So if you want to do level 10, you need at least 1,800 ruins. It's going to run at one time and then it's going to be done. So really you want to stockpile to have tens of thousands of these ancient tablets before you run it through the Black Spirit mode. For the boss rushes, you can now set the Black Spirit for auto boss rushes. To, to proceed through all available boss rushes, your Black Spirit must be level 110 or above. To start auto rush, select auto rush on the Black Spirit mode setting screen and tap confirm. When starting auto rush, boss rushes are set so that the maximum available multiplier and the highest difficulty available difficulty in accordance with your CP are applied. You can select a specific boss to auto rush instead of auto rushing all available bosses. Black Spirit Mode will end when all boss rushes passes are used or when three hours have passed. Six hours if you have the Black Spirit Plus. You cannot begin auto rush in the Black Spirit Mode will be or while participating in a boss rush. When using a Combat Plus, Black Spirits will be able to uh, complete boss rushes faster when auto rushing. Since there is a chance that the Black Spirit Mode will end early if you do not have enough boss rush passes, it is recommended that you have a good amount of passes stockpiled before proceeding with auto rush. 
They also updated the boss knowledge. The maximum level of boss knowledge has been increased to level 100, and the rewards for those have been increased for to uh, as well. As you can see, 300 and 375. I can't really read it there too well. Uh, black pearls. Uh, for reaching one level of 100 for that so that is nice they also added titles so now you get titles after clearing certain levels so the the red nose challenger title there so that is nice so you can see that in the titles each boss rush is going to offer its own individual title so you're going to want to clear those uh camp has been added or a function has been added to the camp that allows you to assign workers to the same camp gathering or world gathering tasks as their last assignment is now available that is really nice so you don't have to keep going back in there and re uh, putting them out. When you register the same item on the market consecutively, it automatically sets the price that you registered for the previous item to the one you are currently registering. So that's a nice little fix. For improvements for Ramonas in the arena, they improved the ranked season rewards so that the rewards will automatically ex be accepted without having to log in. Re improved the matching system as well to try to make it so that the difference between people's AP and DP isn't as crazy when you go in there. Bounty missions that lower the requirement to participate in the Ramonas Arena mission from two to one times to match the difficulty of the bounty missions. Some bugs and other fixes for enchantments. They fixed an issue where the amount of black stones needed to enhance epic gear from level 25 to 26 would be higher than what is needed to enhance epic gear from 26 to 27. For knowledge, they fixed an issue where acquired knowledge and unacquired knowledge would be displayed incorrectly when checking knowledge of region in the knowledge menu. For quest, fix an issue in the quest one party, perhaps, where certain classes would fail to autopath and would hover around the same area. For merchant tree, they edited the content of the messages that appeared when buying slash selling trade goods in certain languages to sound more natural. Fix an issue where the arrow at the bottom of the merchant tree results window and the UI would overlap in certain languages. And fix an issue where the order of words was incorrectly displayed in the message that appeared upon completion of merchant tree events. Bloodkin adjusted the cooldown of Bloodkin summons to 30 minutes. UI fix an issue where the zone names and monster names would this be displayed incorrectly in the world map in certain languages. We got four new events. The first one is the Amazon event is back season three. We got collect the melon, awakening class popularity poll, and the world boss daily mission, as well as losing two events. We got some new pearl shop items to purchase, as well as that new outfit, that Coco El Pento armor outfit, as well as a new pet, the stone crab pet, and uh, a couple new things. Like as promised, I will go over those. Uh, the pearl shop. All right, up first for the pearl shop is pearls plus lightstone fragments one. Sales period is after the maintenance today. There's three per family per week. You get a 400 regular pearls, 100 black pearls, and 30,000 lightstone fragments. Doesn't tell us the cost. We can check that out when we get in the game. There's a level two of that, which gives 2,000 pearls, 500 black pearls, and 200,000 lightstone fragments. Restoration scroll package, which is five per week, gives 3,000 resto scrolls. Uh, Coco El Pento armor is 960 pearls that's standard you can buy that in the same place as well as the new stone crab pet you can get that for 400 pearls as well it's the same spots for those we'll check those out once we get in the game the good stuff would be this one right here the alchemy stone of fortune one per family the first level is 100 pearls black pearls the second level is 200 black pearls and then it goes into regular pearls the first level is 5,000 alchemy stone fragments. The second level is 200 alchemy stone chests. That is pretty solid if you don't have your sushi stone yet. I don't know if I'd waste the 300 black pearls on it, to be honest with you, but it is a solid deal. I'd probably, I probably wouldn't waste my black pearls on that. I'd probably save my black pearls for a hot time event, uh, a hot time sale, something like that. Uh, and just keep, because the alchemy stone fragments you can get in the game for free from your node manager, from different events. Uh, that's just a way to spend your black pearls. There is this growth event, or a growth of fortune, which gives you, it's 100 black pearls for the first one, 200 for the second one, 500 for the third one, and then it turns into regular pearls, so you get three. And with that, it's giving you 15,000 lightstone fragments, 12,000 relic fragments, and then that re lucky relic chest times one. Again, I probably wouldn't waste my 800 black pearls on any of that. You can get all that stuff for free, but it is a feature there. Let's go ahead and take a look at all this in the game. 
All right, so the first event we got is the Awakening Class Popularity Poll Event. You do get 3,000 Ancient Gold Coins. You do vote on one class per day, whichever one is, uh, you want. It does have, you get the same. It doesn't matter which one you do. Uh, it does say available votes in the top left. The event's going for 14 days. You can click the class motto and see each one of the class mottos. And if you ask me, this means that Awakening is coming sooner rather than later. That's just my opinion. I don't have any definitive answers to, to, to allude to this aside from this right here. And I know that Genshin Impact is coming soon. And Black Desert Mobile likes to pop uh, heavy updates when other games come out that are going to compete with theirs so th they will offer awakening class soon if you ask me because diablo immortal is still a ways away and genshin impact is going to be a heavy hitting mmorpg mobile cross platform anyways uh so that's that they do have the collect the melon event as well snack on the melons and beat the summer event Collect the melons by hunting or gathering in the field. You can exchange the melons for certain items. Now, you guys asked me to tell you what I would buy when these type of events come up and, and the order that I would buy them in. So I would I already have all five mystical accessories, but I will stand, still end up probably buying that. But I need the advice of Alex 50 percenters first, hands down. Resto scrolls, super important. Mystical accessory chest, third. And then probably... a probably the advice of Alex 10% uh, to level up a, a, maybe an alt one or something like that. And then the event certificates last. Event certificates last. I probably wouldn't... If I get to the bottom three options, I would buy them in Grand Blackstone Sack and then... then it doesn't matter. None of them are really worth... I mean, the Grand Blackstone Sack first and then the Grand Blackstone... Uh, or the Good Blackstone Sack and then the Fair Feed last. We also got the World Boss Daily Missions. So this is every day. Defeat one of the World Bosses and get five of each of the Black Crystal and Refined Black Crystal pouches. Merchantry Daily Mission event is still going on. The Valencia update, or I'm sorry, the Ellie Bellucci's Exchange Shop is still going on as well. For the World Bosses, Gioth, sorry. Gioth is and on Saturdays again from 20 to 2200. He drops the same... Uh, goodies to Geoth's helmet. He does have the chance to drop Geoth's mask as well, so that's nice. And then the red accessories. Dark Chaser Ring, it's 13 CP more. If you go to the marketplace, like I showed you at the beginning, if you go to the market, you can actually see the, all of the red accessories that are coming. They're all 13 CP more, and they're all 65,000 to 96,000 black pearls. Holla! Anyways. So that is where you get the red accessories. That and your enraged guild boss rushes. So you have Geoth. All of these boss rushes have been updated to drop the red accessories now. So that is where you're going to be getting them. What else do we get? The boss knowledge. If you go to boss knowledge here and click on one of the bosses, you can actually see the best reward got updated to 375 black pearls. That's pretty solid. It's going to take a while to get there. But I mean, the, amount of, the rate that we're getting boss stamps right now is... It's pretty crazy, so it should be, I mean, not easy, but uh, more attainable. What else do we got? Ancient Ruins, level 10, 5,900 CP. Red Lightstone, chance to drop that bad boy. If you go up from level 9, which is 4,300 CP, you can see that it adds that red Lightstone. And then lastly, we have the Black Spirit Mode. They did add the ancient ruins there as well as the boss rushes. Now, if you hit the auto start button at the top there, you can either do them the rushes individually by the boss, or if you hit the auto start, it actually runs through all of them. And then again, with the ancient rune tab, you got to make sure you have enough tabs in order to continuously run that for a little while because in order to go to black spirit mode, it's because you're not going to be by your phone for a little while. So the boss rush feature is great because it takes forever to run those. You guys know the deal. But ancient tabs, typically you don't really need to uh, black spirit mode those. But still a nice addition. I believe that covers everything for this week's patch notes video. If you guys enjoy this type of video, you know the deal. Hit that like button. Helps me out, and I appreciate it. If you're new, you should think about subscribing and do this weekly content for Black Desert Mobile, as well as upcoming MMORPGs. Thank you guys for tuning in, and with that being said, I will see you next time.